So when you think about a linear chelate, there's, there's two different ways that we can tightly wrap a chelator around gadolinium to put eight chemical bonds around it. So one way is, is to wrap around uh, like a boa constrictor type of thing, where we just coil around the gadolinium. So the molecule coils around the gado like a snake around, in this case, an egg. That's right. And, uh, and that's, a very, um, that's a very effective strategy, and you get to very high stability constants, as you saw. The other way is to make sort of like a clamshell structure. And so we call this a, a macrocyclic structure because the, the, uh, the ring is, is closed here. So we've got a, a, a cycle. And, uh, and when we put the, the gadolinium can sit inside, like the pearl inside an oyster, uh, and the oxygens can come down on top of it and clamp down. And uh, this is the second class of compounds. So why is one of those better than the others? Right, well, I'll try to illustrate that in this, in this next, where we have a little cartoon. And uh, so with linear chelators, you can unwrap them one bond at a time. So you can break one bond, then another bond. And then this opens up a site where now we can bind to something like zinc. And then this, this in turn can then the zinc can keep wrapping on and the gadolinium can unwrap. And eventually it's like two dance partners where the zinc comes in and twirls the, the, the DTPA off the gadolinium and, and has it for itself. And the, and the gadolinium is released. So this single bond at a time just peels away, like taking the snake off of the stone oh. or the egg. I see. Okay. All right. So I can see how you could kind of peel the snake off and that would be relatively easy to do. Uh, and so I guess then the, the counter to that is the macrocyclic. Is that somehow harder? Yeah. And so when you start to try to just conceptually break one bond and then another bond, you can do that. But then you still got these, because you've got this cyclic structure, you still have these other two nitrogens that are holding things close together. And then uh, instead of being able to peel further away from the gadolinium, this nitrogen is close by and it can reform that chemical bond. And so it's, it's much more sluggish in order gotcha. to get the gadolinium to come out. So it's out. like the clamshell tighten when you try to open it, it kind of reacts. That's right. Got it. Interesting. Okay, so that's so the macrocycle compound, macrocyclic compounds do seem to have a tighter. Now, which is it? Thermodynamics or is it uh, kinetic? They better kinetics. Better kinetics. I see. Okay. 